Hey folks, I'm Peter Melhorn. If you fish from the bank, I've got an important tip for you that might help you catch more fish this spring. Well, if you watch any of my videos, you'll know that all of my fishing is done from a boat. So you're probably wondering, why am I here giving you bank fishing advice? Well, first, I started out bank fishing just like anybody else. Uh, I spent years and years and years. As a matter of fact, I have probably bank fished more than I have from a boat as far as years go. Now, I'll probably put more hours in now that I have a boat. Uh, but I spent a lot of time bank fishing. And I know one of the things everybody tries to do when they're bank fishing is cast as far as you can cast. Uh, you know, you want long rods, you want areas that are cleared out to where you can, you know, get your baits out deep. That always seems like the right thing to do. And many times of the year, it is what you need to be doing. Uh, you need to be accessing deep water during certain times of the year. But, one of the great things for bank fishermen is that in the springtime, some of your best fishing can be right near the bank. And I'm talking close enough to the bank that uh, you may be spooking off fish when you get up and start moving around to go check your rods or cast them out. Got one going. Coming at the boat too. Oh, he's coming way fast at the boat. Way, way, way fast. Oh, he went way, way, he took off upstream. As soon as he felt that hook, he was gone. Get my perch right out of the way here. Make landing the sucker a little easier. I literally set up in this spot three minutes ago. Church turned around to get something to drink. This one folded over. It's a little feisty. Let's see if I can get him in the boat by the leader. Uh, can I, can I, can I, can I? Yes. Literally two or three minutes. Got one in the boat. Nice fish. Nice blue cap. The boat quickly. One of the things that happens in the springtime, uh, usually early April to mid April, uh, crappie start moving up shallow to spawn. Uh, they start moving up toward the banks. And also, as the water starts getting into mid to upper 60, 70 degrees, you'll also have a lot of brim and bluegill, uh, those type sunfish that are moving up shallow. Now you've also got your bass that are coming up the spawn. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of activity going on in shallow water. And what that means for catfish is there's a lot of food source up there. Uh, there's a lot of fish that are up there hanging out and it's a good time to be targeting the banks if you want to catch catfish. Now all of this is something to keep in mind that no matter where you're able to gain access to bank fish, uh, just keep in mind that sometimes your best fishing can be casting up and down the bank instead of trying to cast out into the deepest water that you can hit. Boom, got another one going. That one started out over there got hooked, made it run to deep water. Which is what's fun about fishing along the bank. That's what a lot of them do. They head to the deeper water. We're probably 200 feet from the river channel. So it's a quick little exit for them. Let me get this perch rod up and out of the way. Right here. <clears throat> Let's 
just about to put my 10 minute rule in effect. I haven't got bit here in a little bit. Got another one, another blue cap. Easy girl. You hear a deer blowing at me up in the woods right behind me. Looking a little fish. Got some bite marks on the tail. A little he and she and going on there. Good fish. Drop it back alive. Hey, was just reeling in to go home. And poof, I get a fish. It's a weird bite, too. Let's see what the heck he is. Oh, oh flathead. We have got the Grand Slam. No wonder it was a funny bite. It's a flathead. I officially have the Lake Wiley Slam at this point. Too close. Get out there. It's a beast. Future. A Lake Wiley Flathead. Pretty fish. A nice fish. Arr, arr, arr. Get them back alive. So keep that in mind the next time you're out bank fishing that some of the best fishing may be up and down the bank instead of far out into the water.